morning. It's uh, October 3rd, Sunday morning, and uh, Angie's gonna stay back at the RV, and I'm gonna go for a bike ride today. And uh, it's a nice brisk, about 55 degrees. Beautiful, sun's just coming up. And I'm gonna run the famous Slick Rock bike trail. Uh, ridden this before on a motorcycle some years ago. It originally started out as a motorcycle trail. I think it was developed in 1969 um, to attract tourism to the area for dirt bikes. And uh, very challenging trail on a dirt bike. It was a lot of fun. I did it with my friend Bart Dixon. Um, so I haven't been on it in a while. It skirts across Hell's Revenge, which is kind of the must-do full of ride Jeep trail here. Uh, gonna probably skip Hell's Revenge this year, but thought I'd come out and do this look right rock bike trail. So I'm solo and uh, we'll see how it goes. There's some uh, some climbs that are, it's like driving on sandpaper, so we'll see how good my knees are feeling today. I may be doing a bit of hiking. Uh, I don't have a GoPro, so you're not going to get any live footage of a uh, run, but we'll see if we can give you a taste of what the Slick Rock bike trail is. Ooh. Wish I had an e-bike. Man. That's incredible. Nobody out here, it's super quiet. So that's kind of nice. So a word of caution for all you that are going to do the Slick Rock bike trail. Uh, this biker that you see riding up and uh, will shortly pass us. On the next downhill, he had a pretty bad get off. Uh, went over the bars, hit a small divot in the uh, Slick Rock on a way down. With a, he was on the front brake a little bit and did a full flip. Landed on his back and uh, thankfully had a helmet on. And so he hiked himself back out to the parking lot and called it a day. Good morning. So it's a little bit hard to find your way on the Slick Rock. Uh, obviously, um, you know, you gotta follow the trail. So they've painted uh, some dots on the trail for you to follow that uh, keeps you on your path. Well, that's scary. So that's the trail. This doesn't do it justice, I'm sure. This is a steep downhill, headed towards that freaking giant ravine over there with a big old caution marker on the ground for the turn. You know, I'm gonna go real slow here. Some of the shit I just ain't riding. This is one of them. It's just side of the sand slope down, nasty hill. Big old hole right here. I think I can ride the rest of it, but that section was kind of too much for me. Uh, that's a super sketchy descent I just did. And here's some people coming down now. Picture of me crashing. <laughs> America's funniest home videos. <laughs> I 
million dollars if you get the good one, right? One of the rewards for all the hard work it took me about two hours to get here, and I did the practice loop first. So, but uh, I got a ways to go, so I'm gonna keep on moving. It's hot, it's like 10:30 now, I think. So, it's getting hot. I'm getting my workout. It's a great Sunday morning church session. Woo! Had to stop in the shade. It's about quarter after 11. I started at 8:30. I guess that puts me almost three hours in. It is hot. It is a hell of a climb. I did the loop counterclockwise, which apparently I should have clockwise, because I just got done with the gnarliest climb. I couldn't bike my head to hike. Most of the way, it's getting plenty hot, so I'm hoping that I did all that climbing, I can do the water with some downhill and kind of catch my breath, get a little water, get out of the sun, and uh, hopefully push to the end. Uh, I'm glad I wore my hiking boots. I would suggest that because uh, I've done a lot of hiking up some steep shit. So calves are going to be nice and sore tomorrow. But amazing ride. Very beautiful, peaceful. There's enough people out here that if I did get sick or hurt, I think I could get some help. Um, I talked about uh, a guy that went down in front of me earlier in the trip and had to walk himself back to the parking lot. He at least was close, within a half mile. And uh, thanks, it doesn't look like he broke anything, but I think he might have knocked himself out for a second. So this slick rock is unforgiving. Uh, so we we'll press on. Well, made it back to the parking lot without dying. Uh, temperature says 70, but out there on Slick Rock, it feels like 100. Freaking hot. No shade. The sun just beating off the rocks. I, I wish I could have measured the temperature out there. Um, so if you're going to do the loop, go to the left. I made the mistake of going to the right. A lot uphill. Not as fun. Um, but that's what it is. At least I wasn't alone. Another guy did it with me. And, uh, so, but fun trail and uh, it's really kind of a must do and more I'll either do Hell's Revenge if you're, if you're a jeeper side by side or mountain biker then do uh, Slick Rock Bike Trail it's pretty damn cool and the traction is amazing you ride on some beautiful cliffs and uh, it took me I don't know it's 12.20 yeah, 12, 12 so I think I left around 8.30 and uh, so they say four or five hours, it's about right. Uh, breeze is amazing now in the shade. So, with the cold beer. 